Right guys, just a quick update for you. Oscar's doing fine, he's 100 percent And myself, I have been in touch with Durham Constabulary. Got an SAR form, filled it in and sent it back. I've requested the body cam footage and also the custody suite footage from Darlington Police Station from when it happened. I've also been in touch with Ian Gold solicitors. Some of you recommended him to me, so I got in touch with him. And he's basically said, wait till he drop the charges and he will start investigating it for us, which is great stuff. Failing that, I will start civil action against them anyway. And um, what I'm also planning by the end of this week is to write to the local MP for that area and letting them know what's happened. And I'll make them aware that there's a good chance that they will lose the body cam footage or there'll be a problem with the body cams. It'll be broken or something. They couldn't get anything on it. And also the fact that there'll be a problem with my phone like it will go missing or something so I've drawn that to their attention and explained everything what's happened so I'm also going to do the same with the newspaper local newspaper tell them the same sort of stuff tell them what's happened and say you can bet your bottom dollar on it that they're going to lose the footage from not only my phone but the body cams or there'll be some sort of problem with it Um. also with regards to the auditing, I've got a couple that I've already done and I'll release them in December sometime over the next few weeks. I'll start up again full time after Christmas because I'm spending most of my time now pursuing this case against Darlington Police and attacking it from every angle, like with the writing to the MPs, writing to the papers, being in touch with the solicitors and stuff. It's taken up a lot of time. I'm also, despite what they say, the police and the um, trolls I've got a full-time job that I'm holding down so that leaves us even less time to be doing stuff but we'll get round to it and I'll get auditing again full-time first thing new year hopefully my AdSense will be back up then as well so I can get some money coming in to pay for fuel and stuff like that and get out and about across the country and do some more audits Um, yeah with regards to the Darlington incident um, what I will say is, despite all the negativity of what happened, and yeah, the staff were pretty awful, all of them, there was one glimmer of hope, and that was a lass called Liz. She was a detention officer, and she was absolutely spot on. I get the feeling she knew the crack and what was going on, and uh, yeah, she looked after us, and she treated us really well. She was like, uh, you know... A shining example of how the rest of them should have been but unfortunately weren't it was uh seemed like a very corrupt place that one just want to say thanks for your support and your advice and your comments i do read every single one of them and i appreciate them all thanks for watching these videos especially the last couple with regards to updates and what's been going on with the darlington incident not just watching the juicy uh, audit videos but following my progress with what's going on here you're not just subscribers you're proper two true friends following us like this so that's great stuff thank you very much for that it's much appreciated um anyway i'll keep you updated with what's happening as soon as something new comes along or i get some information back or i do something else i'll keep you posted so anyway thanks for thanks for watching guys thanks for following me progress and hopefully we'll get a result at the end of all of this so keep watching stay safe guys big respect to the lot of you Checking out.